in this YouTube video, I want to go over some of my top picks when it comes to DIY projects that are cheap and affordable and accessible. A lot of the stuff you see here, you can either buy on Amazon or websites that are can still ship to the US without a problem. It's really sad because there's a lot of people out there that want to get into pen testing gadgets and get into the communities and start doing off-grid communication stuff and just tinkering and having fun and learning cybersecurity in a cool, fun, hands-on way. And they're getting a little bit of a pushback because of all the stuff going on in the world. It's a shame. And what I want to do is go over some gadgets that I recommend you guys trying out and buying that are easy to get. In this video, I just want to go over some things, some tips, so you can get into this space. Because I truly do believe that this is only going to get worse. Now, we're putting tariffs and there'll be tariff wars where other countries will put tariffs on top of the other tariffs. And before you know it, it's going to become close to impossible to get anything, really. I mean... When it comes to some of these really expensive gadgets that are already high in price, how do you justify paying even more, like almost the same amount just for shipping? Like it, it doesn't make any sense. And it's going to discourage a lot of people from getting into this space, which is really sad. And this is some of the funnest ways to learn cybersecurity and also get into really great communities of gadget enthusiasts. So what I'm going to do is teach you a way to fight back showing you easy DIY projects, some things that I recommend, and things that I picked up along my journey. I'll go over it with you. Another cool thing about this video is that there's a lot of stuff here that's under $50, and some of it's even under 20, and this one right here is $9, and you can do a lot with cheap stuff. So I wanna break this into categories. I'm gonna separate everything. This way I can go over each section with you guys, and then it will regroup. Now, these are the sections. So we've got the easy, almost free, cybersecurity and privacy tools right here. I have Tails Linux on a bootable drive. I have Parrot OS and I got the Kali install. You can also make a Kali bootable drive. Basically, these are operating systems where you can just plug it into the computer, boot off these flash drives, makes your computer into a different computer. Basically, it throws on a whole different operating system and you can test things and not have to damage your computer at all because as soon as you unplug it, your computer goes back to its normal OS. If you have an old flash drive laying around, you can certainly do that, but there could be a free project for you. I have tons of videos on my channel showing you how to build these bootable drives. Highly recommend it if you're looking for just to get started in general and you don't want to put any money up. Finding a flash drive, an old flash drive you can sacrifice for this project is pretty nice. If you really wanted to, you can get flash drives that are hidden inside of things. I got one that's hidden inside of a pen, and that's another Tails operating system, my, one of my favorite, well, it pretty much is my favorite, privacy operating system. Tails comes equipped with privacy tools and the Tor web browser built into it, um, encrypted drive. I actually used the uh, Tails operating system to make my ghost drive recently. That's a cool project if you want to look at that video. It has Onion Share uh, already on it, so I don't even have to install it. So it has everything I need that I use for privacy ready to go. And when it comes to these operating systems, Kali has over 600 plus tools. Power Security is just like it, just the same thing, has a lot of tools and depends on what flavor you would like. Kali is pretty much better when it comes to working with hardware and adapters. So if you're doing Wi-Fi pen testing, you're going to need to get a wireless adapter um, so you can do monitoring mode and be able to inject things. But if you don't, um, you don't necessarily need it. They still can use Kali Linux with other tools on it, but you're better off upgrading if you want to do more like Wi-Fi pen testing with it, but it's a good start. Now, if you want to get in the world of mesh-tastic and off-grid communications and even uh, international communications, which I found out how to do recently, some of the best starter gadgets you can buy are right here. So my number one recommendation is the Helltech V3. So these are super easy to set up and they also have a really good LoRa radio on it and it's really easy to program and set up as well as link it with other gadgets and batteries and accessories so from meshnology they have a whole bunch of stuff i have a whole bunch of stuff over there videos about meshnology but this guy right here it comes with a battery a cool case and an antenna but it's basically just a helltech v3 so you don't need to buy the whole case i mean if you really want to you can get this i'll leave the link in the description but to start out this guy you can get this guy on Amazon. I can see the prices ranging anywhere from 15 to 20 to $30 for this guy, but somewhere in between you can probably snag one of these four and really easy to set up and put mesh testing on it. Now, I'm actually gonna show you how to do that real quick in this video. Now to get this in flash mode, you have to hold down the program button and then plug it in. And you know you did it right if you see the flashing light on here. You're gonna to go to the web flasher. 
you're going to click on the Helltech, your device, which we have, Helltech V3. Click on the most stable firmware, and then we're going to hit Flash. Once you do that, you'll be greeted with this screen. You're going to click on Erase, Flash, and Install. And then you're going to see in the top left corner there, I have to click on my device and hit Connect. Once I do that, you'll see it start to work. It's going to erase everything and then set it up with Meshtastic. And it's again, this is how easy it is to flash the firmware. All I did was plug it in, hold on, hold on a button, plug it in, and click a couple buttons. And now I'm installing the firmware. And this gadget is almost ready to start communicating. All these other gadgets here, the T3S3, the T3S3, uh, the Ink one, and then it's just a Helltech with a nice case. You can buy batteries. I mean, all this stuff works the same way. You would flash it just the same way I just did with the Helltech V3. Super easy to do and super nice to have. Such a really nice tool to have in your survival kit. So all this stuff here is under $30. Once it's done, you'll see the Meshtastic logo and it's ready for you to connect with your phone and set up. But in this demonstration, I'm just going to use the web because I'm using my phone to record. So just give me one second. I'm on the website. I clicked on serial. I'm going to connect to the device right now. I'm going to set up the region. So basically all that's doing is programming the radio to talk on the correct frequency, depending on where you are in the world. For me, I'm in the U.S., so I need 915 megahertz. So once you get your device connected, either with Bluetooth or use the serial, if you're already plugged in like I am, you're going to go over to config. Laura, and then gonna go for region, and then you're gonna go for whatever region you're in. Right now it says unset, so I'm gonna go ahead and select US. Once I do that, I'm gonna go to the top right corner, hit save, and I'm done. That's it, this thing's ready to go. So the whole process you just saw to set up this guy is the same process you would have to do for all of these guys. And again, all this stuff here is under $30. I mean, and this is probably the cheapest option, like one I recommend the most. You can get this on Amazon, so it's fairly easy and accessible and cheap to get. My number one recommendation when it comes to the off-grid comms. So let's move, go ahead and move on to another section. So the BLE Shark Nano for under $40, you can get this ready to go pen testing gadget. This guy comes preloaded with a firmware as well as a firmware that updates, takes care of itself. Once you connect it to a Wi-Fi network, as soon as you get it for the first time, it will remember it. And then anytime there's an update, it'll say, hey, there's an update. And you click yes, and it'll update for you. No need to code, no need to put a fancy web flasher on it, nothing. It'll just do all the work itself right there in the palm of your hands. And for under $40, this has always been my number one recommendation for beginners as well, because it's so easy to use. As you see here, you got Bluetooth pen testing, Wi-Fi pen testing, infrared, bad Bluetooth, which is just basically bad USB with this guy too. You put payloads on here. You have some games and other apps you can use. I mean, it comes pretty much preloaded with a bunch of stuff to get you started. And uh, again, fairly easy device to get. It has a nice little on and off switch as well. Just really nice. And this is the Ghost Rats purple one. They have a bunch of other ones. They have a clear case one, which I have over there, just a shell. And they have a black case one. That's the prototype, so it's not actually the way that one looks. But anyway, this is my number one recommendation for a beginner-friendly, lazy um, DIY. Not, not even DIY. You just buy this, and it's ready to go. So the only thing is I know that the case itself, this this um, rubber casing, is going to get hit with a tariff because it's actually made in China. Last time I was just talking to Infishark Tech about it. But the device itself should be fine. So this is something to look into. If you're looking at a ready-to-go pen testing gadget, this is the one you would want to get. So for the most affordable one, we have the TT Go by LilyGo. I have the Bruce firmware installed on this guy. Now I have a whole dedicated video of showing you how to set this up. But basically this gives you access to a pen testing multi-tool, um, probably one of your first ones if you're looking to get one of these. Um, super simple, same thing, it's a web flasher to get everything on here. And uh, this works best when it comes to Bluetooth and Wi-Fi pen testing. It can't really do much else because it doesn't really have that much capabilities. But at least you can get some multi-tool functionality out of it. And it's really easy to get. I mean, for $9 for less than some cups of coffee, you can get this guy. Now, on Amazon, I saw prices ranging between uh, $10 to $20. But on LilyGo.cc... If you use code GhostRats, you also save 5%, but on LilyGo, on their actual website, uh, you can get this guy for $8.99, so that's before my discount as well. So, really great gadget. Now, we can go up in stages. So, you have the, we have the TTGo, then you have the T-Displays, the S3s. 
Um, this one I think is $13. It's a little bit better, a little bit nicer, uh, a little bit better quality here. Um, still only does the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, but you can install custom themes with this one because it's just a little bit stronger than this guy. And then going up, you have more T-Display S3s, but in a nice little nice plastic case. Uh, some of them come with batteries, depending on which one you want to get, depending on how much more money you want to spend. But as you see, it can gradually go up depending on how much you want to spend to get in here. You got a nice entry point. And as you go up, my number one recommendation if you're looking for a below $60 pen testing multi tool, it would be the CC1101 T Embed Plus. Now, the Plus has NRF capabilities, that's the brand new one that just came out. Um, this one would be your Flipper Zero replacement. Um, this is the best one, in my opinion, as of right now on the market. If you're looking for a alternative to the Flipper Zero, you want to spend it 200 plus for that guy. Um, this guy is 60, so almost a quarter of the price you can get one of these. Uh, what I kind of should be recommending more often is the M5. So I got the M5 Stick C Plus 2 here. Um, this one goes for about $40 on Amazon, but you know you can get these for about $20 on other websites if you can get it. But no, there is an, an out option if you need a plan B. You can get it on Amazon for about $40. So something to consider. You got to put the Bruce firmware on this one as well. And uh, you get a nice little pocket size, I mean, really small pen testing multi tool. Now, this one does a little bit more than these guys. So, if you're looking for more capabilities at a, a smaller form factor, um, but you don't want to spend the money to get that guy right there, this is probably your next best option is getting the M5 Stick 2 here. Now, if you're looking for Mr. Robot type stuff and you want a bad USB, you can build your own zero trace device. So basically, zero trace device is a bad USB that you can connect over Wi-Fi. It has a nice web UI and you're able to connect to it and do some pen testing and send payloads to a target device over a remote connection. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to program one of these. I believe this board right here is under $10 on Amazon. And uh, you can get cases that fit it. So I already have a put together one that I already set up. But these cases, I think are about, I think these are under $10 as well. If you really do want a 3D printed case for it, they have everything on Amazon. I'm gonna put all the stuff I'm talking about in the description. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set this up. So I'm on the Zero Trace dashboard and I'll put all the links again in the description. And I have the device plugged in, I held down the boot button, then I plugged it in. And then I'm on their firmware tab. I'm gonna click on, which I already did, the custom devices. And once you click on that, I'm going to click on this guy right here, ESP32 S3N16R8, and we're going to click Flash. Now, I'm not going to show you here how I'm setting it up, but I'm already installing the firmware and it's almost done. Um, I have videos dedicated on my channel showing you how to build this device from scratch by using the digital key and how to put it on the device. So I'm just going to do all the work and just go ahead now, and Now this one's a little bit harder and it's a little bit more pricey. I mean the firmware itself that you have to buy is between $30 to $40 depending on when you buy it and what sales you can find. But if you buy the digital key, the web UI is really nice and the dashboard's really nice. It's really easy to set up. Again, watch that video. I'm not going to go into it in this video because it's already pretty long as it is. But definitely an option i mean between buying the firmware and buying the cheap devices from amazon and a case it's, it's still under the 50 dollar mark and that's pretty much it for this video now i have dedicated videos i'm going to add to the youtube description for each device i went over because i didn't feel like it was necessary to go over every single thing in this video i just wanted to prove points on how easy it is to set up certain things with web flashers and how easy these diys really are and I want you guys to see these cost-effective gadgets so they know they exist. Also, don't forget you can use code GhostRats to save 5% on your LilyGo gadgets at LilyGo.cc. Definitely go check out our reverse sponsor, Tron Cases. Go ahead and check out all of his cases. His Kishu cases, for one, are really awesome. If you want to save 15% on a Kishu, use code GHOST15. Also, do me a favor and remember that safety is an illusion. illusion.